Providers believe COVID vaccine mandates will ultimately decrease chances of workers leaving and unvaccinated nursing home staff in the hot seat as CDC investigates breakthrough cases. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. The nation's second largest nursing home association doesn't expect the long-term care industry to see a mass exodus of frontline staff if more providers enact COVID-19 vaccine mandates for its employees. In fact, the group expects the number of staff leaving to drop if more operators join in. Quote, some of our members have already mandated vaccines as a condition of employment, Katie Smith Sloan, Leading Ages President and CEO, said on Monday. Based on their experience, we've seen that when employers issue a mandate with sufficient lead time combined with education, answering questions about the vaccine and explaining the benefits, many hesitant employees will accelerate their decision to get the vaccine. While there are valid concerns about mandates' potential contribution to workforce shortages, what we are seeing to date is a modest loss. She added, quote, we believe that as more healthcare providers mandate vaccines, the probability of employees resigning will decline. Sloan's comments came after Leading Age announced its support for a COVID-19 vaccine mandate for all healthcare staff, joining more than 50 other professional healthcare groups. Later Monday, the Department of Veterans Affairs announced that it had made COVID-19 vaccinations obligatory for all VA healthcare personnel, the first mandate by a federal agency. The American Healthcare Association on Monday said it's not joining in the call for vaccine mandates for all healthcare workers at this time, but instead continue to focus on educational efforts and increase vaccine confidence. Some long-term care operators have opted to wait until the available COVID-19 vaccines receive full approval from the FDA and not solely approved for emergency use authorization. Sloan said there is nothing under federal law that prohibits an employer mandate for a medication that is under EUA approval. She added that recent federal courts have upheld separate COVID-19 vaccine mandates from a hospital system and a university. Leading Age also noted that just over 80% of nursing home residents are fully vaccinated, while the number is about 61% nationwide for nursing home staffers. Sloan said from its member experiences, education and persuasion has been the best tools to increase staff vaccination rates. Several Colorado senior care facilities are at the center of a CDC investigation and public health officials there are zeroing in on unvaccinated staff as the cause of breakthrough cases. At an unnamed memory care facility in the Grand Junction area, 16 fully vaccinated residents were infected and four died, according to the CDC information reported by the Associated Press last Thursday. The investigation, which started in May, underscores concerns among public health officials in Colorado and beyond that the protection afforded nursing home residents and other seniors through vaccines is now at risk because of non-vaccinated individuals. Mesa County, home to Grand Junction, is a hotspot for the Delta variant, which has spurred COVID-19 case increases in all 50 states and triggered the deployment of federal surge teams. The CDC has not released the findings of its Colorado investigation publicly, but told the AP it plans to publish results in an upcoming weekly report. At a location referred to as Facility A, 42% of staff were not fully vaccinated compared to about 9% of residents. Nationally, about 59% of nursing home staff are fully vaccinated. In some states, the fully vaccinated rate is closer to 40%. In Colorado, the CDC found a COVID-19 infection rate of 30% among vaccinated residents and staff at the facility, with residents accounting for the vast majority of cases. Of 16 fully vaccinated residents infected at the memory care facility, the CDC found that 13 developed symptoms described as mild in most cases, according to the wire service. The four deceased residents were in hospice care and had a median age of 93. 
This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.